Recently, experts have made significant moves in the realm of artificial intelligence that have caught our attention. Analysts at Truist Securities have affirmed that Microsoft remains the prime way to capitalize on artificial intelligence within their coverage area. They released a note stating that many key themes propelling Microsoft's business reflect major trends in both infrastructure and security. The firm points to Microsoft's evolving artificial intelligence strategy as a driver of its leadership in the software industry. While multiple entities will ultimately emerge victorious in the generative artificial intelligence model space, OpenAI currently stands as the clear leader in the large language model domain. Analysts argue that OpenAI's first mover advantage in enterprise artificial intelligence applications will remain robust due to the considerable focus on architecture and governance. The collaboration between Microsoft and OpenAI is expected to yield additional benefits for Microsoft compared to other cloud providers. Turning our attention to Palantir Technologies, Monus, Crespi, and Hart analysts have downgraded Palantir's shares from neutral to sell, setting a target price of $20. Following this downgrade, Palantir shares dropped nearly 5% after the market opened on Friday. This decision follows a lackluster earnings season for enterprise software and the failure of the 18-month generative artificial intelligence hype cycle to generate significant revenue for most industry players. Analysts note that the market is likely to avoid software stocks with inflated valuations. Despite a 167% surge in 2023, Palantir's stock entered 2024 at a high valuation, and with a 49% rally year-to-date, analysts believe the valuation has now reached an excessive extreme. While Moness believes Palantir is well-positioned to benefit from the artificial intelligence trend and volatile geopolitics in the long term, the firm notes that the stock's current valuation has reached extreme levels. Combined with a pressured software industry and irregular revenue from government contracts, analysts foresee challenging times ahead. Next, we examine Apple. Investment firm Bernstein has raised its target price on Apple, expressing confidence that investors now recognize the iPhone maker's potential to lead in artificial intelligence. The 12-month price target has been increased from $195 to $240, indicating an almost 15% upside from current levels. With over 1 billion customers compared to ChatGPT's 100 million, Apple has substantial potential to bring artificial intelligence to a vast audience, enhancing everyday utility. Remarkably, Apple does not pay ChatGPT, underscoring its powerful position. Bernstein also notes growing investor optimism about the forthcoming iPhone 16, anticipating a strong product cycle partly due to artificial intelligence features available only on the iPhone 15 Pro and higher models. While analysts are increasingly convinced that Apple will benefit from artificial intelligence, they caution that the advantages may take longer to materialize than some bullish investors expect. Many Apple intelligence features will roll out over the next year and will only function in English, potentially delaying some upgrades to the iPhone 17 cycle. Shifting our focus to Micron, Wedbush Securities analysts reiterated a buy rating on memory chip maker Micron Technology and raised their price target from $130 to $170 ahead of the company's earnings report next week. The primary question, according to the firm's analysts, is whether historical data suggests Micron's stock is expensive relative to asset levels. While memory remains a cyclical industry, analysts believe it will stay in undersupply through this year and likely much of 2025 partly due to insufficient new investment in NAND and DDR5. Increased capacity requirements for high bandwidth memory also contribute to this undersupply. As a result, analysts anticipate that average selling prices, revenues, margins, and earnings per share will all cycle higher, with the book value set to increase as free cash flow enhances Micron's balance sheet. Analysts expect only positive news for Micron's financials for the foreseeable future and predict that the stock will continue to rise until there is a shift in industry investment plans. Finally, we turn to Adea. Rosenblatt Securities has reiterated a buy rating on Adea, highlighting it as the most undervalued artificial intelligence opportunity in the market. Following discussions with Adea's chief executive officer, chief financial officer, and vice president of investor relations, Rosenblatt emphasized the company's under-the-radar status despite its leadership in key artificial intelligence growth sectors. Analysts pointed to the significant opportunity in semiconductors, noting that transistor limitations are signaling the end of more law. Adia's hybrid bonding and chipset intellectual property offer solutions to these challenges, positioning it well for the ongoing rise of video across various devices. On the financial front, Rosenblatt praised Adia's over 60% operating margin and its valuation as the most undervalued artificial intelligence player in the market and recommended investors take a closer look at the company. 
In summary, analysts have underscored Microsoft's leading position in artificial intelligence, downgraded Palantir due to overvaluation, raised Apple's price target on artificial intelligence optimism, reiterated a positive outlook on Micron amid a cyclical memory industry, and highlighted an undervalued opportunity in the artificial intelligence sector. These movements reflect diverse strategies and opportunities within the expanding field of artificial intelligence. With that said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.